Hello guys and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. So we are going to continue our discussion with Navis Work Manage 2018. So this time around the topic that we are going to discuss is uh, reviewing our model using the measure tool. Okay, so we are going to use the measuring tools in Navisworks. So measure tools enables us to measure between points on items in the model. Okay, so all the measurements are made in display units. So these uh, measure tools are available from our review tab. Measure panel, you can see the measure tools here. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open the exercise file, the sample exercise file, gatehouse underscore pub dot nwd. Just make sure the file subtype here is all files. Okay. So if you want to check out where's the location of this, so all you have to do is to click the end there, the big end. You click this one. You just have to click the sample files here, and then you'll be able to go to the sample files of Navisworks so that all of you will be able to follow the exercises that I'm doing, okay? Or you can also use your own uh, Navisworks uh, file, okay? If you don't have, then you can just go follow me, all right? So it's inside the gatehouse folder. Let's just open this one, and then I select your open. All right, so this is now the model. It's a very simple model. So let me just go ahead and check first the setting of my Navisworks uh, display units. So I want to make it uh, MM just to make sure I'm going to select options. Okay, all right. So from the interface display units. So yeah, so it's already set to millimeters, okay? Anyway, it's up to you. What is what are the units that you want? Oh, uh, what is the units that you want to use? Okay, in your project, in reviewing your model. Okay, so for me, I'm gonna use millimeters. So I'm just going to select. Okay. So the purpose of this exercise or of this lesson is for us to be able to explore the different measuring tools that we can use in Navisworks. For us to review our model all right so during the collaboration meeting uh beam meeting or whatever meeting is that regarding on your project all right so let's get started so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click the drop down arrow here you'll be able to see the six options of our measure point uh, measure tools here so first is point to point. So as you can see from the definition, it says uh, measures the distance between two points. So all you have to do is to pick two points. So let's say, for example, uh, using the orbit tool. So let's say I want to measure this point here from this point. Okay, so I'm just going to click this one and then I click point to point. So I'm going to click this. And then hover my pointer, you will notice it will snap to the end point. And then I'm going to pick another point here. All right. There you go. You just need to pick that. And then you can now see here the measurement for the x axis, for the uh, y axis, and then for the z axis. Okay. So x, y, z. Okay. All right. So that's how you use the tool point to point. So in, if you want to clear the dimension here, so all you have to do is to select clear here. Okay. So it clears the current measurement. Okay. Another option here is point to multiple points. So according to the definition, it measures the point, uh, it measures the distance between a base point and any other or any number of uh, other points. So meaning to say, your reference is the first point, okay? So that's it, just reference the first point. So I'm, let's say I'm gonna pick this, and then again, I'm gonna measure from there to this point, okay? And then I'm going to pick another point. So let's say from here, uh, here to here, your reference is the first point, so I'm gonna click right 
So it is always the first point is your reference. So if you're going to use that option, so let's say from uh, this time to this point, click, all right. So your all uh, reference is the first point. Okay, so that is our point uh, to multiple points. Okay, so your reference is the first point. Now the second option or the third option for measuring is point line. It measures a sequence of consecutive distances. Okay, so last point. So I'm going to click this one. So let's say again, I'm going to click here. One. And then I'm going to pick here two. Okay, so I'm going I'm going to pick another one here. So as you can see, your reference is your last point. So if I'm going to pick this one, see, so your reference is your last point. Click. So it keeps on adding. All right, it will adds all the measurement that you are going to pick. All right. So again, I'm going to select clear. So let me show you again. So let's say this is my first point. I'm going to pick here and then I'm going to pick. So this is the first measurement. So 3150 plus this measurement here. This is now the total. All right. So 13716. Okay. So then if I'm going to pick another point, let's say here. It will keep on adding. So every time you pick a point, okay, the measurement will be added to the last uh, measurement. Okay, there you go. Again, I'm just going to select clear. Now, the next option is accumulate. Okay, it measures the total length of multiple non-consecutive distances. So non-consecutive distances. So this is consecutive distances. So this one is non-consecutive distances. So I'm going to select this. So I'm going to pick here. Okay, one, uh, two. All right, then I'm going to pick another measurement. So let's say from here to here. There you go. And then I'm, I'm going to pick another measurement. So let's say, uh, how about from here to here? Oh, it's not snapping. So I'll just pick another point. So anyway, uh, I know you are understanding this one. Click, right? So non-consecutive points. So every time you pick a point, it will show you the measurement. And then if you pick another two points, it will add that measurement to the previous measurement, okay? But this time, it is non-consecutive, okay? The other option there is uh, consecutive distances. So this one is non-consecutive distances. So it measures the total length, okay, of multiple non-consecutive distances. Now, the other one is angle. So let's say, for example, you want to know what is the angle of this portion, all right? So I'll go ahead and select angle here. Okay, so I'm going to pick here, and then I'm going to pick to this point, okay, and then I'm going to pick another point here. So let me just go ahead and pick uh, along this line. So you will now see there the angle. So it should be 90 degrees if I pick the end point here. Anyway, so let's say you want to check the angle from here to this, somewhere here, and then I'm going to pick here somewhere here so you can see the angle so that's how you check the angle of your model right so let's say uh huh so from this point one two three okay so you can see the angle there ah right okay now the last option here is area so let's say for example you want to uh, check out the area of your roof here, okay, the top portion. So you just need to select the area, and then you just need to pick, for example, the point. Mm, let me just pick this edge here. This point, this point, from here, from here, okay. So from here, 
So as you can see, it keeps on computing the area. And then from here, ah, it's difficult to snap. There you go. Okay. Right. So that's the area, the total area. Okay. So I'm going to select clear. Okay. So let's say you want to check out the area of this surface here. So I'm going to pick here, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is the area. Now, if you want the measurement to be permanent, okay, you can select convert to red line. So what will happen is if I click this one, notice the viewpoint window here. Okay, so I'm going to select convert to red line. So you will notice it will create a viewpoint. It will save the viewpoint, okay? So let me just change the name of this. So let's say this is the front area or whatever name that you call it, okay? And then after that, I'll try to change the view. Let me just orbit it, okay? All right, so it's now orbit. Now, if I'm going to click the front area, if I'm going to click this one, so you will notice it will go back to that save viewpoint. Okay? You follow? So I'm going to repeat again. So let's say you want to create a measurement, let's say from this point to this point. So let's say I'm going to select a point to point. I click this one, right? So from this point up to this point here, click. Alright, so if you want to remain or if you want to make this dimension permanent, so you just need to select convert to red line. There you go. Again, it will create here a viewpoint. Okay, you can just change the name. And then after that, if you try to orbit it, you change the view, you can always go back to that save viewpoint. There you go. Right? Okay. Right? Okay. Let us just explore more some other options here, like the lock option here. Okay, currently it's turned off. So let me just use the point to point. So if I'm going to select um, lock to X axis, the cursor snaps to the start point and moves along the X axis when measuring. Check this out. Okay, so X axis. So if I'm going to click, for example, here to this edge, Okay, you see, uh, the movement is uh, x-axis, right? The movement is always x-axis if you're going to lock that. So let's say I'm just going to pick here. There you go. So if I want to convert that to red line, I'll just click this one, right? And then you can save this. So if I orbit, if I click this, it will go to that view, all right? So... Y axis. So I click the Y axis. I'm going to lock it. Let's say, for example, from this corner here, you will notice it locks to X axis, right? Okay, the movement is only X axis. So let me just uh, click here. There you go. Again, I'm going to convert that. So that's the measurement. Okay. And then for the z-axis, okay, so let's say from uh, from this corner here, okay, so you will notice it locks at, it locks at the z-axis. So I'm going to click. There you go. And then convert. There you go. Okay. So you just need to explore this one, all right? So you just need to explore this one. So basically, these are the tools that we use to review our model. So this is the one of the tools that we use to review our model, the measure tools, okay? So hopefully it has been helpful to you guys. Again, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can always put your question in the comment section below, okay? And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel okay so this is rich again have a nice day guys bye bye